Hey guys, so it might seem like deja vu, but yesterday I uploaded a video about getting a free tarantula and today I ended up with another one. So before I continue this video, I'd like to do a quick shout out to my mum for giving me some money so I can get this. Uh, she made a sizable donation to saving this spider and I thank you and the spider thanks you and hopefully we get some good information out of this video. Um, and my partner Mandy lent me some of her birthday money because it was her birthday today, happy birthday, uh, to get the spider as well. So thank you. Also a quick shout out to Bailey, she was going to give me $20. Um, I've given her the option that I can use it for food and some other stuff for them. But if not, that's all good because it was the offer that counts. And thank you for that. This little girl here, um, she's missing two legs apparently, but I think she's only missing one and a uh, feeler at the front. So I just found out that the uh, name of it down here is the exact same as the other one that I got. So that's a bit of a bummer. I thought they were a different breed. But anyway, she needed to be saved because this is not appropriate for a tarantula. Um, the size of this is quite big. Um, it's also quite small. They don't like big areas as it will, it's harder for them to catch food. So, I mean, if they're an incredibly good hunter, then go for it. Give them a, as big as you want. Um, if you have a lot of time for them, go as big as you want because you can, you know, give them more food and take it out if they don't eat it. But I mean, these plants are silly. They might look cool in some cases, but I mean, it's completely pointless. There's absolutely no benefit to the spider whatsoever. They're fake, they're hard. They're, I don't even like these in my fish tank because they're just real tacky. But I mean, sure, if you wanted to have one in there, maybe for a little bit of color, that's cool. But I mean, don't go getting something um, just because you want to make its house look pretty. I mean, that's a different story. Um, they're all live plants and it was only quick actually we had babies there's heaps of tiny little babies in there and there's her other babies up there and there but these ones are super tiny look at them they're so cute okay back to the spider um this is not appropriate it's the substrate is not high enough the substrate is dry, like that is bone dry. I mean, the water bowl's dry. Um, I'll get rid of that. And yeah, as you can see, I've taken everything out. There is not much substrate under the skull. There's, you can see all the way through to the bottom. That's the glass there. There's uh, cockroach carcasses all through that skull. Um, so yeah, she probably hasn't been very happy and not wanting to eat properly. Um, and they've just been, the cockroaches have just starved in there. So hopefully I can get her out and we'll see where we can go from there. Get her into this little container and I shall get on to doing to this. Uh, what I did with the other one. So I've cleaned out the tank and I've put the new substrate in. It's the same stuff as I used yesterday. Um, but I've cleaned the skull out. It had a bunch of cricket carcasses in it um, and a little bit of mold on it. So I just gave it a quick scrub. Um, well, it dries out and cools down because I was using hot water, trying to just get everything out of it. Um, I just got to go over what you don't want in your terrarium or something like for the spider. I mean, yes, you can put fake plants in it, but I don't recommend it. They're, these are tacky, they're sharp, they're spiky. I mean, I know they're not sharp and spiky to touch, but I've had them with fish and they rip fins and stuff like that. So um, obviously the tranches are a little bit hardier than some of my fish, but I mean, they're tacky, they don't look good. If you want, you go get some nice-ish looking plants. Um, but if you have it in a tiny, tiny little area, 
Don't waste all the area with poxy plants that can't do anything and benefit it in absolutely no way. So people use uh, milk lids and stuff like that to um, give them water, but this one's been dry for a while. The stuff that came out of it when I tapped out the thing, like it's, it's pretty dry. Which brings me to today's rant. Don't go buying anything unless you're prepared to look after it. Like this thing's missing legs or leg, whatever, due to poor care. The height of the substrate is supposed to be quite high because they like to burrow. The substrate is also high because if they climb to the top, they do not have far to fall. And tarantulas are quite delicate and a fall will cause them injuries. Um, you can lose legs and stuff like that. This girl that I got today uh, was asked by the dad to be removed by the sun because the other day it got out, which means that it probably fell off a table um, and it could have possibly really damaged itself, which sucks. But I mean, she seems pretty lively and pretty moving. I mean, she was on my hand before and she just wanted to run around, so. But yeah, that was the first time that I had ever held a tarantula of this size without a sleeve or anything. Um, and it's like got little hooks on the end of its feet that hook into your arm, which was pretty impressive. I didn't think that they I would actually feel them. But yeah, no, they're pretty big, so that's cool. There is no real law in WA about keeping uh, insects, so you don't need a license or anything, and there is no license on your scorpions and stuff like that. Um, so that's pretty cool. But I mean, they might bring in something, but it won't be too expensive. I mean, getting your reptile license isn't expensive at all, but they do keep track of it. It just stops uh, people from releasing them into the wild, like a lot of people release fish into the wild and it causes big problems. But anyway, I am going to go shake off that skull and hopefully it's dry enough. Uh, put it back in here and see how it looks and whether or not we're gonna go through with it. So Sir Heads a lot is clean. I hope you guys have seen that because it is so funny. If not, go find it. Virtual reality, so heads a lot, whatever it is. I don't know, find it because it's hilarious. So this is basically how I'm going to leave it for tonight because it is late. Again, the drive to get this guy was four hours. Um, but yeah, so this will be plenty enough for the next couple of weeks until I sort something out, because maybe I can do a dual theme tank for this one and the other one. I'm pretty impressed with myself. They're almost the same level, so I did pretty good. Um, <clears throat> they're both decent heights. But this is the girl from yesterday. She's spun a few webs up there and all the way at that other entrance there. Um, and we'll see how that one goes. And then eventually, uh, when I get a little bit more prepared, I might give him a maybe a house the size of both of these together. I'm gonna put her back in that tank and we'll see how we go for tonight. There she is. I managed to pick her up, so you just kind of like pinch him from behind and pick him up, but I didn't want to hold her in the air too long because um, I didn't want to drop her. But hopefully by tomorrow, She's made a nice little cozy home like she has and then eventually we'll sort them out. But yeah, there they both are and turns out that she's the same as this one, which I'm a little bit upset about and I wouldn't have been so excited. Um, but she needed saving and hopefully we'll be able to give her a better life. So hopefully uh, after a little bit we'll be able to get her uh, legs growing back. Um, after each molt, they'll come back a little bit larger. Um, the first one, they might be quite deformed or she might never grow them back at all. Um, which is, yeah, it's a bummer because it's a pretty wrecked spider. Hopefully we can get her back nice and back to normal and she can just be a nice little spider and then I might resell her. Um, kind of like that guy, I'm supposed to sell him soon. He's, um, He's swimming a lot better now. Uh, the lump on the side of his head has shrunk, but he already starts fights with these guys uh, a 
I don't think they're gonna do it, but he sits in that side there and arcs them up and they smash into the sides of the tank. So he's not going in the big tank because it's not gonna work. Um, they're just gonna kill each other and he'll end up dead because these guys are pretty aggressive. But yeah, so hopefully I'll be able to recover this one a little bit better and maybe share some more information with the next owner uh, just to hopefully give her a better chance of life. So I hope you all got learned and if you are thinking about purchasing exotic pets or any pet um, that you think twice before you buy and do your research on what the care needs are and everything like that. Thank you for watching, thanks for the support and have a good night.